Hey, do it. Good. How are you? I'm doing good. in room four, and he was writhing in pain. 
As it turned out, he had leukemia. Leukemia is often fatal in a black teen, but not that time. We pulled out all the stops. We walked a four-year tightrope, he had a bone marrow transplant, and modern medicine cured Isaiah. His leukemia never came back. But, but there's more. Isaiah smoked his first pot at age five. He had his first gun at age 10. At 12, he stole a car. The view from his house was vacant lots and drug dealers on the corner. He was in and out of trouble his whole life, in and out of addiction, even while we were treating his cancer. Once, when he was 17 years old, Isaiah said to me, he said, Dr. Berwick, I think that my leukemia is a blessing because when I'm in the hospital, at least I can't be on the streets. And then one dark night, 15 years after his leukemia was cured, Isaiah died. He died on the streets in despair. He was overtaken by hopelessness. This is uplifting. Isaiah had two lethal diseases. We cured one, leukemia. The other killed him. Its name is injustice. It is inequality. It is, it is poverty, and yes, it's racism. I see his face, I see his face every day. Every day I ask myself the same question. Today, would Isaiah die again, or would he live? I want to be your governor so that today, Isaiah would live. All oh, means handing to my grandchildren a planet free from the grip of fossil fuels. All oh, means unshackling our teachers and our children handcuffed by standardized tests. epidemic of addiction, not by growing prisons, or by adding casinos, but by funding treatment. And all means that we in Massachusetts will take the step that status quo politicians have not had the guts to take, Medicare for all, single <laughs> Isaiah is not gone. He's watching. His eyes are the eyes of the hungry child, the homeless family, the frightened, undocumented worker, the eyes of the woman who wants equal pay, of the man in prison who wants a road back home. He is watching, he's asking, who will help? We will. I say to him, Isaiah, hear our pledge, hear our promise. As your governor, I swear to you, we will keep that promise. Hear my pledge, all means all. One nation, indivisible, liberty, justice, for all, Isaiah, for all. Thank you, Massachusetts. We saw Wall Street gamble with our money, our pensions, our houses. They took people's homes. They wrecked our economy. And then they got bailed out, and we did not. And today, Wall Street is doing just fine. So many working families are still struggling. Gross men, 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 gross men.
about it. everybody went for it that is so cool now we need help though I in september more. getting signatures you know i'm on it please give us your name you've already got it many times over i i can't escape terror if i try i must have more buttons attorney general martha coakley has made a decision to withdraw her name Name Steve Grossman, endorsed candidate of the District of
first thing I'd like to share with you that at 3.19 this afternoon, Barbara and our middle son Ben's wife Becky gave birth to a little boy. His, his name is Jacob Jack Walker Grossman and I can tell you for all kinds of reasons this will be an extraordinarily memorable day. And it's about building one commonwealth that levels the playing field and leaves no one behind. So I leave this convention hall surrounded by an army of passionate activists ready to go on, ready to go on, and to send Charlie Baker back to Swampscott on the 4th of November, and all of you will be part of that team. Thank you so very much. I am honored to be such a part of this wonderful party, the Democratic Party. Thank you all.